The Netherlands is a country full of exciting and unique theme parks. One of them is Toverland and oh boy did this park surprise me. I titled the vlog I made like a while back, Beyond Expectations, and for good reason. This park gave me one of the best days of my entire life and it's not just because of the roller coasters, of which I'll get onto later. Before I get any further into the video, I just need to say that I would really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe. I know YouTubers normally ask this a lot, but my analytics have been like a literal roller coaster lately, and ultimately, you guys are the people who can really help me tackle the YouTube algorithm and hopefully beat it, so thank you. As with all these park reviews, there is a lot to talk about. So, this is what I think of Toverland. Toverland was the second park I visited on my Netherlands trip last year, and interestingly, I went into this park with some pretty high expectations. That was probably because literally two days before I'd visited the Efteling, and that part blew me away. And believe it or not, Toverland exceeded those high expectations. Before going to this park, and actually before the Netherlands trip as a whole, I was wondering how Toverland would differ to the theme parks that we have here in the UK. Sure, you know, I'd thought I'd get the creds, re-ride Phoenix and Troy a few times, and then probably leave before closure time. No. My sister Jemima and I happily spent as much time as we could at this park. Put simply, we had a really, really good time. The day before I visited the park, I actually cycled down from the campsite we were staying at nearby to check out the entrance, get some footage of Troy, which you can see from the entrance and car park, and really anywhere else in the park. The entrance music sets this chill but adventurous vibe, and in the park itself, the audio was a huge part of my experience. The whole park is based around magical themes, and you know, some parts were done better than others. Avalon was certainly the best with great music, two of my favourite rides ever, those being Phoenix and of course Merlin's Quest. But there was an astonishing amount of theming. There was a huge artificial lake, rock work, and more. You really need to look at my vlog to get my first reactions. I can't describe it in any other way. But then, you compare Avalon to, I don't know, the area around Booster Bike, which is their Vekoma motorbike coaster, I'm told that that was one of their first roller coasters, but you know, it'd be nice to see more theming in that area. If not, then re-theme Booster Bike, give it new trains, because the trains stick out quite a bit in a magical theme park and then you just have a motorbike, so yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Troy, I'd say, is in the middle. Although there isn't a huge amount of theming during the ride, the coaster has an epic soundtrack, definitely one of my favourites, and this architectural building where you'd see soldiers roaming around and interacting with guests. It just makes your experience so much better, and I appreciate Toverland made an effort to do just that. One section of the park which really surprised me were the two warehouses based towards the back end of the park, which actually used to be the old entrance to the park. In these warehouses, there's an indoor roller coaster, flat rides, Maximus Blitz Barn, and plus, if the weather's not looking too good outside, you can just spend some time indoors. I believe this is how Toverland actually started out, just being those two buildings, so credit to the park for growing so quickly. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's actually an indoor log flume there. Always great to see one of those. That was a load of fun. Actually made me really miss the flume at Alton Towers. Rest in peace, bathtubs in the woods. I've already described some of the attractions you can find at Toverland, but there's also more like a rapids ride, Dwelverwind, a max spinning coaster with some great onboard audio, 
as well as many places with some unmanned play equipment and loads of fountains. It's difficult to describe, but as dumb as it sounds, me, a 15 year old, loved this equipment. I wish more parks did stuff like this, it's so unique. And actually, I nearly fell straight into the water whilst on a small raft thingy. Yeah, I didn't get my camera gear wet, thankfully, and it was quite a hot day, so getting a light splashing of water was actually quite nice. Also, when I visited Toverland, there wasn't that many people in the park. The majority of those there were families and kids, which, you know, Toverland does a good job of providing attractions for that demographic. However, you know how I talked briefly about Troy and Phoenix, the two main thrill rides at the park? Well, Jemima and I, we just lapped these coasters again and again. I think we got like 10 rides on Phoenix and nine on Troy. But yeah, it, it was fantastic. I feel as if Toverland was something special. The park provided a very personal experience, something Efteling didn't quite manage to do because, well, at least when I visited, there was a lot of people at that park. However, at Toverland, there was nowhere near as many people. Park staff at Toverland, just like all the other parks that I visited in the Netherlands, were super nice. The ride staff at Phoenix didn't staple me at all. They pushed my restraint down enough, of course in a safe position, but it meant that I had so much wriggle room to experience the ride to its fullest. A little note on the merch there, the merch I thought was pretty reasonably priced, Phoenix had a considerable amount more merch than Troy did. That's probably because Phoenix is, you know, the standout attraction. At least I'd consider it the standout attraction at the park. And it's newer, so yeah. Overall, Toverland felt really personal, as if the people there wanted me to have a good time. And when I came back from my travels back to the UK, dare I say it, I missed Toverland the most out of the four theme parks which I visited in the Netherlands. Just goes to show how much I enjoyed my time there. But yeah, you can bet I'll be returning to Toverland as soon as I get the opportunity. So do I recommend visiting Toverland? Absolutely, 100%. The park's full of charm, two exceptional roller coasters, lots to do for the families, and most importantly, it's a park that you want to spend more time at. Toverland isn't one of those theme parks which you know you do the main attractions and then you head. Please spend as much time at this park as possible. Soak in the atmosphere, re-ride the coasters and enjoy the park as a whole. You've been watching Stubwood, I thank you so much for watching, have a great day.